Welcome to the Parenting Podcast this week. Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking to you about the why behind the what. The why behind discipline. In 2 Timothy 1.7, we read that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. What's it say in the New Living Translation? The New Living Translation puts it this way, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So that's what we're going to talk to you about for just a couple minutes. That thought about self-discipline. One translation says safe thinking. And so what is the the goal behind discipline? The goal behind uh, training and teaching and and really uh, encouraging and making our children to develop good habits. What is the goal behind that? What's Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 say? And as you look that up, let me just remind you this again. It means safe thinking. That's what sound mindedness means. Safe thinking. Safe thinking. Hmm. Okay. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4 says this, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. The discipline and instruction that nurture is... Uh, in the King James says nurture here says discipline Mm -hmm. it's a discipline training through experience and admonition or instruction means uh, through words and so the those verses bring those things out that that you want to train your children discipline your children both by experiences and that would be not just spanking but whether it's through uh, don't really want to ground them anymore than you have to but but maybe they lose a toy, or they lose a privilege, or or they whatever lose <laughs> opportunities through experiences, and we'll get more into that. And through instruction, and, and the goal is this: safe thinking, safe thinking. safe thinking, sound mindedness. God made us with two portions of our brains. He made us with an emotional side, and He made us with a logical side, and. As we bring our children up, where the goal of our thinking is not parents getting to vent. Right. The, the goal is not to merely punish the children, mm-hmm. but the goal is to work with our children so that they develop as a complete person and they're able to use that, their emotions, they're able to work through their emotions, recognize those and in combination with that logical side of their their thinking the logical side able to handle their emotional side and, and learn from that and draw from that mm-hmm. as well and incorporate that integrate that with that logical side so that their yeah. thinking is safe and they make good decisions yeah and it takes a lot of time because as we know children are not born with a lot of wisdom yes right and so it just takes time and patience and a lot of love poured into them to help develop them into healthy, healthy people that right. will love God and, and love others. And so it just takes time and patience to do so. And then, and so that's what Ephesians 6, 4 then talks about. It's a father's responsibility to bring them up to, or, or the head of the home, you would say, if you're a single mom, to, to sit down and explain to them and teach them, encourage them, give them everything that they need so they can grow up feeling good about themselves and having that solid emotional life and and also good thinking patterns so sure yeah so that's the goal that's the why behind the what is your child becoming a whole healthy able to make good decisions person (laughs) as they grow up so they can have the best life they possibly can we love you we'll see you next week bye